Uh, so I know you keep saying that the uh, COVID vaccine is not gene therapy, but both Pfizer and Moderna have made statements to say that the vaccines were gene therapy. How do you reconcile the conflicting statements? Um, which, which information is it that you're referring to, Senator, in terms of Pfizer and Moderna? So Moderna said it in their financial filing, the SEC filing. It's mentioned they referred it to gene therapy, and Pfizer have said it, not uh, um, tabled it in the past, that they refer to the actual um, transfection as gene therapy. So, as I've just explained to Senator Roberts, gene therapies generally are therapies that are used for treatment of rare genetic diseases and heritable disorders. Gene therapies are where, when introduced into a patient, they um, kickstart, if you like, a defect or disorder, a genetic disorder that exists within that patient. An example is something like haemophilia, which is a heritable disease. When a gene therapy um, is administered into a haemophilia patient, what it does, it, it allows the patient to produce blood clotting factor which without the therapy they wouldn't be able to do, which alleviates them from the conditions of haemophilia, such as bleeding out. That's, that's not, what a gene okay. therapy is. So, so that's not what you've told me in the past. In the past, you've told me it's something that targets the nucleus. And I'll note that the Pfizer uses a promoter, an SV40 promoter, in the E. coli that I've just discussed so that the, actually targets the nucleus. So the S40 promoter question, we've already responded to that on notice. That's SQ23002094. I'm aware of that, but I'm just saying that it contradicts your prior... What you just said then contradicts your prior thing, because I thought you defined gene technology last time as going into the nucleus as opposed to the cytoplasm. Your question was about gene therapy. And that's what you've defined gene therapy as in the past. You referred to gene technology just before. Oh, gene therapy, gene technology, I used the two but interchangeably. They're, very different. they're different things, Senator. So what were you referring to? Your question was about gene therapy? Yep. And I just answered Senator Roberts' question about gene therapy? So you're not saying that the COVID-19 is gene therapy? The COVID-19 vaccines yep. are not gene therapies. Right. So gene technology, do you consider it gene technology? What is gene tech? What do I consider to be gene technology? What well, you're the one that's made a distinction between the two. I would have thought they were similar. Um, are talking about he knows oh, I think I know what I'm talking about. Senator, it's, that's, it's just not helpful. Um, I, I think... I think okay, there's, so... There's two different things under discussion here, Senator Rennick. Um, okay, so retroposition. Uh, are you familiar with endogenous reverse transcriptase? About 8% of the genome can that actually... Question, enzymes that convert that, mRNA back into DNA. That question has already been answered on notice, Senator. Okay, are you familiar with it? Are you aware of it? No, I'm, I'm familiar with what, sorry? You're not familiar with it? We've, we've responded to that question on notice, Senator. I'm aware of that, but I just want you... I just want to look you in the eye and have this conversation now. So you're not going to... Are yeah, you familiar with it? I'm asking if you're familiar notice. with it and the risks that are associated with it. In what context, Senator? Well, the context that the mRNA gets produced inside the cytoplasm and then if the uh, reverse transcriptase then can reverse that mRNA back into DNA. Hence the reverse transcriptase. That, that has been observed, but in terms of your question, you would have to put some context around it. Well, it has been observed. So, can you put context around that statement? Please? Observed it. Uh, Senator, observed Senator, 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 I'm not. I'm not following at this point. Well, well, it's to do with the risk of they're the Office of Gene Technology Regulator. It's to do with the risk of the mRNA being converted back into DNA, so it goes from the cytoplasm mm. back into the nucleus. So we're told that that's not supposed to happen but yet they haven't done any genotoxicity studies to prove that the endogenous reverse transcriptase doesn't, re doesn't actually transform that mRNA back into DNA. So That's the question if, I'm asking you. As you've said on a number of occasions, Senator, the mRNA COVID-19 vaccines, as produced by Pfizer and Moderna, were approved through the TGA. They did yeah. not require an authorization through the OGTR because they do not contain genetically modified organisms. S Senator, no, fine. We'll leave it that. Um, I, I mean, I'm in no way um, asking you to yeah, stop no, your no, line no, of questioning. Cool. I just know that you did both want to get to the yeah. National Blood Authority. Yeah. Don't want no, you to miss cool. out. Um, thank you very much. Authorised G. Rennick People First Chermside.